Oh! On this final day, we ride the northern 12 miles of the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail, or LVRT, and explore the Vermont towns of Highgate and Swanton. Today's objective was to ride from Lake Carmi to St. Albans via the LVRT. Final day. Time to get going. Got it in there, huh? Yeah. This was easy because I uh, got the raincoat in the mid loader now. We would descend the big hill from Lake Carmi State Park to the Missisquoi Valley Rail Trail. We rode the MVRT for 4.5 miles until we reached Sheldon Junction for the final time. From here, we followed the LVRT to Highgate, where we stopped for lunch and explored the town. Back on the trail, we rode downhill to Swanton, where we explored the grounds of the Swanton Historical Society's Railroad Depot Museum. From here, we followed paved roads back to St. Albans. So we arrived at Sheldon Junction. This is the third time we've been here on this trip, and we've got one direction left to go. Let me show you on the map what it looks like. So we left this morning from our campground on Lake Carm. We came down 236. We jumped on the trail, the Mississippi Valley Trail. Here we are now at Sheldon Junction, and we're going to take the Lemoy Valley Trail, which has been completed, up through Highgate Springs and over to Swanton at the very end of the trail. And then we're going to jump on some back roads in Route 7 to bring us back down to St. Albans where our car will be waiting. The Bordeaux Brothers feed and fertilizer plant dominates the scene here at Sheldon Junction. The right of way is fenced off to protect trail users from factory vehicles. You are making the video. What the hell? In fact, I caught you actually. I was videoing you when you ran into it. <laughs> I was tracing the end, but I lost it. Mm. Is it hanging out? No. Jeez. Oh, there it is. This is worse than having us having thumbtacks on the trail. <laughs> yeah. You're surprised I didn't go down. I'm glad you stopped quick because this could have like taken out the derailleur or something. Yeah, and me. Smile like you did. <laughs> <laughs> this is our catch for the day. We got wrapped around my uh, my cogs, and my derailleur, and my tire. Um, good thing I stopped. I would have gone down or broke something.
We left the trail to explore the village of Highgate Center. While the trail was awesome, we really enjoyed our side trips into these quaint Vermont towns. The Highgate Historical Museum is open the first and third Sundays of the month between 10 and 2 from May to October. The Sorcy's Market was our lunch stop for today. They have a good selection of food for the hungry cyclist. Most of vehicular traffic, this lenticular truss iron bridge was well worth the one mile detour. It was built in 1887 and the main span was 215 feet in length. It spans the Missisquoi River just downstream of the dam at Highgate Falls. Payback. We're going down to see the Lenticular Bridge. Massive climb up. Woo. Can't wait to get back to the trail. Not wanting to miss any of the trail, we rejoined it right where we left off. Well, that's why they put the fence up. occupies the former right-of-way of the Central Vermont Railway's St. Harbin subdivision. There was a diamond here, a place where two railroad tracks cross a grade. The East Swanton Station once stood here. Technically, this is where the LVRT ends and the one-mile paved Swanton Recreation Path begins. That's it, we're almost done. Just to make it back to the car. Yeah, but trail-wise. <laughs> This bridge was built in 1903 and relocated here from nearby West Milton. It replaced a three-span covered bridge that was built in 1895 and destroyed by an arson fire in 1987. There were once three covered railroad bridges on the St. Johnsbury and Lake Champlain Railroad. Today, only the one at Wilcott, Vermont survives. We've reached the west end of the Lemoy Valley Rail Trail here in uh, Swanton. Behind me is the uh, Railroad Museum. I don't think it's open today, but I've been in it before. It's absolutely fantastic if you want to learn about the railroads here. We parked our bikes and walked around the grounds of the museum, where we enjoyed these terrific outdoor exhibits and informational placards. The Depot Museum is open from Memorial Day until early to mid-October. Hours are 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Almost uh, 29 and a half miles on the day. We're a couple hundred feet from Mike's car. And uh, I'm ready for it to end. It's been great four days. Good company. 
Awesome trail. Thanks for riding along with us. We'll see you out here in the next one. In the future, I plan to ride the rest of the LVRT from St. Johnsbury to Cambridge Junction, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.